Let's take one more Catex examination question. See, we have one isometric view, two isometric view and some detail view. And here, this is the top view and there is a section view A. This is the section view A and this is side view of this body. Okay. Now, let's see. We have few parameters. You have to uh, write in equations. Then all dimensions millimeter. You have to find distance between P1, P2 and volume of the model. Okay. So let's create this, start to create this model. model. Uh, we will create outer body. Now outer diameter, you will see here C, the gap between these two A. Okay. Now we need to cut. The cutting angle you will see B. From here to here, we will create this angle B. Okay. And at this point, you will see this is also uh, a cutout. We need to create RD. Uh, we will create this one then uh, how much this depth depth you will see h a h is 32 millimeter fine then we need to apply radius at internal phase how much radius you have to calculate it is not written here see j is vertical length so you have to subtract uh, j from h then divide by 2 you will get 13 this radius corner radius going to be 13 millimeter okay then we will create this circular body internal radius how much 24 then wall thickness k k is just coincide with this uh, we will create this depth uh, this one then we will create this uh, rib okay let's create this much first Okay, let me create right click on equations, manage equations, global variable. Now let me apply A, press tab key. Now you have to apply all dimensions one by one, 24, tab B equals B, how much? 250. Here change unit. This is angle, so choose degree. Press tab key, C and uh, 160. Again, tab key D d how much 28 e tab e is angle so 80 degree okay 80 and choose here degree press tab key f f is simple plain dimension 17 millimeter then g g how much 50 g then letter how much h h is height actually tab height how much 32 then j J is a kind of thickness, 6, K, 7. Now we done. These are all dimensions we applied here. Say OK. Now top plane, sketch, activate circle. Let me draw here two circle. Right click, exit. A smart dimension. Now the first diameter, dimension C. So equals to global variable C. Okay, now the gap between these two equals to global variable A. Okay, 24 millimeter. Fine. Extruded boss base. Now I want to flow material both side equally. So keep in direction one mid plane. See material flowing both side equally. Here dimensions equals to global variable H, 32 okay now for time being i'm going to okay let's apply some color to this so it looks more visible that's one seven nine something okay now top plane is sketch line okay A smart dimension let's define the outer angle how much b 250 degree okay activate three point arc No, not uh, 
सेंटर पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट आर्क नाउ सेलेक्ट दिस सेंटर पॉइंट ऑफ दिस कर्व एंड दिस लाइन को इनसाइड स्मार्ट डायमेंशन द रेडियस इज डी ट्वेंटी एट ओके नाउ लेट मी सिलेक्ट दी आउटर सर्कल कन्वर्ट एंटिटी ट्रिम एंटिटी पावर ट्रिम जस्ट प्रेस एंड होल्ड लेफ्ट माउस एंड ड्रैग एंड सी दिस इज गोइंग टू ट्रिम लेट मी ट्रिम दिस ऑल्सो ओके वी हैव वन क्लोज प्रोफाइल एक्सट्रूडेड कट अनचेक थिकनेस हियर चूज दिस पोर्शन through all both say okay see this is trimmed now again top plane sketch circle and let me draw here circle one bigger circle up to this point internal circle make for construction now internal circle diameter 24 and the wall thickness k equals to c extruded boss base i want to add material here so keep mid plane and depth is same 32 or you can apply h something look now okay we forget to add uh, this relation we will add this relation then we will add this rib also rib, rib thickness 6 mm but rib from here to here only okay so angle 250 we will apply and four number of ribs let's see how it uh, going to happen then you will see the outside there is a shell feature we are going to apply how much wall thickness see 7 mm okay now let me do one thing now let's apply here fillet now fillet is like uh, 32 minus 6 Minus, oh, uh, sorry, divide by how much? Twenty six. Twenty six divided by two. Thirteen. Constant type fillet. Select both end. Okay. If you see, select this one and see length six millimeter. This is what we need. Come down. okay now let's add rib top plane is sketch draw one center line and connect the mid point of this center rectangle start mid point okay now rib thickness how much 6 mm okay it is uh, perfectly aligned we don't need this extruded boss base keep mid plane and depth is here 24 mm now see the gap between these rib 24 mm circular pattern now here i am going to select this angle equal is 254 number of instances and feature already selected now let's check from top view see 
ओके फाइन शेल फीचर इक्वल्स टू वेरिएबल के सिलेक्ट दिस आउटर सरफेस ओनली शो प्रीव्यू एंड यू विल ऑब्जर्व सी नाउ हियर वी नीड टू एड वन होल देन वी नीड टू डू वी नीड टू मेक वन कट आउट हियर दिस एट मिलीमीटर अप टू दिस फेस ओके देन वी नीड टू अप्लाई दिस वन द आउटर इन इनर डायमीटर फोर्टी देन वॉल थिकनेस एट मिलीमीटर एंड दिस ऑल्सो वेट्स ट्वेंटी फोर मिलीमीटर वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन एंड एट द एंड ओके लेट्स फिनिश दिस वन सिलेक्ट दिस फेस स्केच सर्किल ओके ट्वेंटी फोर मिलीमीटर एक्सक्रूडेड कट एंड मेक इट थ्रू ऑल ओनली वन साइड अगेन सिलेक्ट दिस फेस स्केच ओके लेट मी डायरेक्टली चूज सेंटर रेक्टेंगल लेट्स अप्लाई लाइन एट मिलीमीटर वी नीड टू कट ओनली दिस मच पोर्शन सो यू कैन कीप दिस वन लिटिल इन साइड ओके एक्सट्रूडेड कट नाउ हियर चूज इन डिरेक्शन वन अप टू सरफेस अप टू विच सरफेस सेलेक्ट दिस इंटरनल सरफेस सी द प्रीव्यू सी now here i am going to apply let's go to top plane sketch now internal diameter given 40 and the wall thickness given 8 mm extruded boss base now here in selected contour choose outer line only i want to add a solid body 24 mm mid plane say okay now use the same sketch and apply extruded cut feature in this case go to selected contour and select the internal circle and here choose through all both okay see okay now let's add the last part this portion आर जी दिस इज इफ द रिलेशन और कंस्टेंट नॉट गिवन वी विल कंसिडर टेंजेंट फेस नाउ हियर टेंजेंट हियर टेंजेंट आर एफ नाउ एंगल ई नाउ सी दिस इज क्वार्टर सर्कल एंड दिस इज पॉइंट गिवन नाइंटी डिग्री सो दिस लाइन इज टेंजेंट टू दिस रेडियस ओके दिस इज कर फेस सो वी विल मेक लिटिल इन साइड सो दैट वी विल गेट परफेक्ट शेप आर ई थर्टी एंड हाउ मच थिकनेस यू विल सी इन साइड व्यू टेन मिलीमीटर एंड यू विल सी दीज टू फेसेस आर टेंजेंट हियर इट्स रिटर्न यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू द सेंटर डिस्टेंस ओके लेट्स सी टॉप प्लेन स्केच now select this curve this one this one this one make it convert entity <coughs> now this due to this uh, curve face i am going to make this line little bit inside offset 5 mm and i am going to select this line 5 mm make okay extend 
Now select this line and see this is going to extend up to here. Again drop down trim entity, power trim and trim this line. Just press left, uh, press and hold left mouse and drag over the line. Fine. Okay. Three point arc. Start from here somewhere. Then convert again, choose line, make it one straight line. Then go back to the point and see the line is going to convert into arc. And connect somewhere here. Make little inside, make this point tangent this point tangent okay and also select this and this tangent equals to G Thirty. This is going to be seventeen. Okay. Now let me select connect line from here to here. Now select this line and select this outer curve tangent and uh, make these two perpendicular. Okay, do one thing, delete this relation perpendicular. And uh, make angle global variable E okay now it looks perfect tangent okay we did this perfectly trim entity power trim remove this one remove this one okay extruded boss base now make depth 10 millimeter say okay Now select this portion, okay, see, okay, let me go to evaluate, measure, select this point and this point, 96 something dimension, 96.97 millimeter, this is the dimension what we need and we achieve. Okay, let me choose mass properties. Okay, 192.832.774. Look, 192.832.77, 96.97. We achieved what we require. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share, like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.